Hello and welcome to my studio. We are well into winter here and there are not many flowers in the garden but one thing that I have a lot of are little violas and pansies. So today we are going to draw this little viola. So when I draw a viola or a pansy, I start in the center. You have these two little hairy bits that are here. And in the center here, there's a little blob. And then there's a semicircle, a band of darker or brighter yellow, depending on the variety. So that's my center. That's my anchoring point. So everything else I draw, all the petals I draw, are going to come from that center. So I am going to draw a line that's going to be the main vein of my petal at the bottom and that's going to go right through here to a line that is going to separate the two petals at the back. And then this petal is roughly it's a triangle shape, so I'm going to do, these are just construction lines, they're not the actual lines of the petals, they're just the shapes that I'm looking at. And then I have one sort of oblong circle going on here, a bit higher than that. Another oblong circle behind here. And then a big bigger petal at the back here and then a bigger petal at the back here. So that's the rough shape. Then I need to go in and refine this. So although this one is kind of triangular in shape, it is quite rounded on the sides. So I'm not measuring anything for now and I'm not trying to do a neat line because <clears throat> I want my drawing to be flowing. So if I really try to do, especially with 0 0.3 pencil, if I really try to do a neat line, I'm going to get a bit stiff. And I don't want that to happen. So that's going even more up here. I don't want to become too tight with my drawing, so I'm starting with multiple lines to get an overall shape and then I go in and refine it. Now at the end of that little hairy bit, it goes up quite straight. That petal is actually pretty Okay, straight away, really. Just a bit of an angle here that I missed earlier. Then erasing the lines I don't want. Now this one has got a bit of a kink in it, so it goes in like this. And then it goes across it in a little fold. It's more square than, than round at that end. And it goes down a little bit further than that. It goes down further down than the other one. If you were to draw a line across here, which is perpendicular to that one, this one has more distance than this one on the edge. It goes down further. Finishing the fold here. 
And then this one, start before that fold. Pointy, not completely rounded, and this one about the same height again, a bit squared, not completely rounded either. Okay, removing those lines, and then the stem should link to that anchor point behind as well so I've got to make sure you know it's not starting here or anything I want it to start behind that and it's a square stem so when I paint it I will have to go in sections so refining a bit the little hairs And then the markings. So there is no patches on this one, on these two petals. So the markings are coming in little lines that follow the veins. And these will be painted very dark. I will do a tutorial after this one. I will also do a tutorial, a painting tutorial. I'm going to paint this little viola in a tutorial as well, a different one. So there's a marking here going down the central vein. One coming up. Don't forget to curve your markings to follow the texture of your petals. There we go, and this one has a patch here. That doesn't go down quite to the edge. And it's slightly off center. No other markings anywhere. So this is done. So here we are. Drawing of a little viola. I will post this one on YouTube and I will make a longer video for my Patreon subscribers in which I will also do a demonstration of drawing a little bud to go with it. So if you're a Patreon subscriber already, thank you very much for subscribing. The video is coming soon and if you're not a Patreon subscriber, think about it. They get much longer videos over there. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you did. It really helps my channel and it's the best way to get me to make more videos. If you have your own tips or methods to draw violas and pansies, or if you have any questions, you can use the comments below the video. I always look at them and I always answer questions. Thank you for watching. See you soon in another video and happy painting. Bye. So let's see what I have in here. We are going to use... Okay, that's not good. It's not actually in here. Aha.